Welcome to our weekly Forex forecast, and this is for trading on March the 8th to the 12th of 2021. Just a quick, dis quick disclaimer here. Um, this is for education purposes only. Trading is a risky business, so please be careful uh, with your trading. All right, so let's get started. As usual, we'll start off by taking a look at our calendar here. So coming up this week on Monday here, um, actually before we dive into that, the uh, the bill, um, the stimulus bill got passed, so there'll be $1,400 in checks for uh, individuals and it's, I think, $1.9 trillion worth of funding, I believe. Don't call, quote me on that, but um, uh, so we should see an impact on the stock market, but there could be this buy the rumor, sell the news type of thing, uh, so just bear that in mind. Uh, in terms of what we have coming up here, uh, we do have... Uh, Bank of England, Governor Bailey speaking. So at this point, I'm not really expecting much to change in terms of what we are hearing from central banks. They are still providing support. Many of them aren't, or at least um, the last one that we heard, Fed. Uh, the Fed is not going, the Fed is not really stepping back from the program. They're not concerned about inflation or anything, which is a lot of, a uh, lot of people have been concerned about inflation. Uh, because of the low interest rates, but uh, the Fed doesn't seem to think that's a problem. And we see the similar uh, sort of thought process from uh, other central banks around the world as well. So something to keep in mind, if, the, um, if it doesn't change, um, then um, basically I wouldn't expect much of a, uh, much of a change here. Uh, so just a quick note here in terms of the stimulus bill, uh, looks like it's getting signed off on Tuesday. So I'll need to double check. I thought it, it just got passed. Um, I thought I read about that this morning, but okay. So we will please double check that. Um, all right. So in terms of um, what else do we have coming up this morning, this week, not, uh, not a ton here. We do have uh, employment numbers here from Japan, business confidence numbers here, nothing critical. Um, and then on Tuesday, we have a Reserve Bank of Australia, uh, another central bank here. Um, on Wednesday, we have CPI numbers. CPI numbers at this point, they are they're important, but they're not critical at this point with the way stuff has been going. On Wednesday, so a lot of central banks this week, we have Bank of Canada, rate statement, again, not expecting an interest rate change. Uh, I think... Um, Bank of Canada, the only thing we need to keep in mind is, or we need to look at is um, what the commentary is. Again, um, I believe they said they're going to keep the interest rates um, on hold for another couple of years. So I'm not expecting that to change. Um, I'm actually expecting them to uh, pretty much repeat that thing. Uh, but uh, overall, again, any sort of um, comments on the state of the economy, what they're expecting, that's what will make a difference. Not expecting an interest rate change. On Thursday again, so it seems like every every day this week we have a central bank uh, ECB uh, monetary policy statement. Again, not expecting much to change here. Friday, we have employment numbers out of Canada, uh, consumer sentiment numbers, and that is it for critical stuff. Uh, so basically the main uh, volatility here uh, will be uh, the main volatility here would be in regards to our um, the central bank statements. Oh, just a quick note here. My apologies for not sending out an email uh, for the link to the webinar, market analysis webinar um, yesterday, last night. Um, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to do the call today and it turns out I we got back in time so i'm here so thank you i'm glad you guys joined um so that's why you will get an email next week all right so let's go on to the charts here we'll start off um with uh with the euro dollar as usual so euro has so over the last week what we have seen here um would be the drop in the risk um risk sentiment so our stock markets tumbled and with the stock market um, although there was positive turnaround in terms of the stimulus bill and all of that on friday but overall there has been a big drop in the risk sentiment and hence we have seen uh, things drop so 
uh, US dollar is a safe haven currency and this is where US dollar fares well when the stock market is dropping or the risk assets are dropping. So here we do have that nice uh, bearish candle close. Uh, there was a nice pin bar the previous week here, nice follow through from that. So now what we are looking at would be a follow through from this candle. So looking for, um, looking at this dropping here. And then we have, uh, so in this case, biases to the downside. Only thing to bear in mind here would be we could get a deeper pullback here towards 1.2020. So right now I'm looking at a pullback towards 1.1950 and uh, then a, a drop, but um, watch out for a deeper pullback. So especially with the stimulus bill, um, passing once the bill is passed here we may get this move up in um, in the risk assets so equities may go up as a result of stimulus bill being passed and that would cause pretty much everything to euro dollar including um, risk currencies to go up so we may see a deeper pullback before we see a drop again so keep that in mind so 1.19 and 1.2020 will be the two levels to watch. And once price holds below that, we're looking for a drop. In this case, the first target is 1.1830 and then 1.1800. So bias is bearish here. Uh, another question I uh, got on the YouTube channel was also, how do I draw these things? It is not an MT4 function. This is just part of my webinar software or Zoom function, I should say. Uh, that let, lets me draw these lines. So you would not find the tool on MT4. Um, all right, so looking at pound dollar here, pound also had a nice pin bar. So we, get, we got a nice follow through from this as well. So bias here is bearish in this case. Again, uh, in terms of a pullback, I am looking for a pullback back into this uh, previous pin here, 1.3900 uh, here. And once price holds below, we're looking for a drop again, follow through from the last week's move here. 1.3680 is the first target. And then 1.3550 will be the second target here. So bias here is bearish. Uh, we do have the Bank of England here. So just keep that in mind. Any type of comments from Bank of England can uh, drive the market here. They usually do so. And our... Australian dollar here. Australian dollar is very much tied into what happens with the stock market. So Australian dollar and um, New Zealand dollar will be highly impacted. So what we are seeing here with Australian dollar is a follow through move. So we had a drop, a pullback, and now uh, we are seeing this second move. So I'm looking for a continuation of this move back into 0.7565. Uh, however, bear in mind, once the stock market starts to pull back, this is likely to pull back as well. So this one is bearish. I would be a little cautious here because we may see a move all the way to the top here, 0 0.7830, because uh, with the stock markets going up, this is likely to go up as well. But if it holds below 0 0.7830, we're looking for a move back down towards 0 0.7565. So that is our target to the downside here. So bearish bias for Aussie dollar as well. New Zealand dollar, we're seeing a similar move here. We did see with the stock market turning around, we saw this push uh, back up on Friday, price moved back up. So now for the weekly here, we do have a nice bearish candle close. It is coming into strong, some strong support levels though. Uh, so this is this level here, 0 0.7100 is very important because if the price is not able to drop through this, then we are going to see, uh, we could see price turn around. So in terms of the pullback here, uh, the pin bars from the previous week worked out really well. Beautiful pin bars here. And then we have seen a follow through. Pin bar 10 is one of my favorite things to trade. So bias here is bearish, looking for a, uh, looking for a follow through, but I would look for 0 0.7220 as the pullback level. And if price holds below that, we are looking for a drop. First target will be the low of this week or previous week, 0 0.7100. And then second target, 0 0.7020. So bearish bias here for New Zealand dollar as well.
dollar CAD here. This one's gone all over the place um, with the price of oil uh, being all over the place. Uh, we have seen price turn around or price be choppy with this one here as well. Uh, right now we are seeing price basically it's stuck in this very very narrow range but the broader range um, is this one here it's just it looks like it's trying to drop but hasn't really been able to today's or this week's candle here is neutral there is bearishness in it but if we don't see price drop through the support level at 1.2585 then we are back into the range here towards the top of the range. So this is still looking range bound to me. Price has been stuck between 1.2870 level and 1.2585 level. So if it doesn't get out of this, um, then again, looking for more choppiness here. So neutral bias for dollar CAD. Moving on to our Euro pound here. Euro pound has been slowly uh, filling this inefficient move that had happened. So in terms of the weekly here, we do see price um, drop. Now it is into support here. This is an important support resistance level. So we do have to be mindful of this level here. Um, it's, uh, it's struggled with it. So now I'm looking for a pullback and then a drop, looking for price to test 0 0.8545 level here. So I would look for a pullback towards 0 0.8640 and then a drop. So bias here is bearish for Euro pound. Euro Swiss franc here, this one again has um, has gone up, but as we can see, price has been uh, waffling a little bit here. And this again is tied into the stock market moves. If the stock market goes up, this is likely to go up here as well. So from the weekly perspective, it is still bullish. It is into important support resistance levels. So just bear this in mind. This is where price has not been able to make through this level for um, over a year now. So in this case, I will look for a pullback towards 1.1050. If it holds above, then we are looking for another leg higher. So this is the support resistance level that I'm looking for this to come into play and then a further move to the upside. So bias here is bullish still, but with caution because we are into some strong support resistance levels here. Pound Swiss franc. So in terms of the daily here, this one's still looking bullish. Price did come into the support level and then it has um, it has pushed off of that level and that has to do again with the stock market. So uh, Swiss franc here is, um, is a safe haven currency as well. So when the stock market uh, does well, pound Swiss franc or all the Swiss crosses will go up as well. So based on the weekly here, I am looking for a further move to the upside. But again, uh, with the stimulus bill passing, uh, this is going to look um, look bullish here. So in this case, looking for a pullback towards 1.2800 and then a further move higher here. First target is 1.2965, which is the high of this uh, previous week here. And then we are looking at 1.3100 here back into this uh, level. So bullish bias here for pound Swiss franc. Dollar Swiss franc, this one is looking strong still. Now we do have a big move here and just like we had a big move here, this one could turn around. So be careful with that one, especially if the US dollar drops here, this one can also drop. So it is into resistance here. So for now, we are bullish again with caution, especially for this one, because it will be impacted by the stimulus bill. If the, with the stimulus bill pa uh, passing, US dollar will be negatively impacted um, and the stock markets will be positively impacted. So we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, right now, uh, bullish bias 0 0.9365 is the next target. So bullish bias for dollar Swiss franc. Pound yen, this one's still looking bullish here. Uh, and as we can see, price is holding um, holding here. Now we are into um, important levels here. And in terms of the weekly, it hasn't broken the previous week's high. It hasn't held above the previous week's high. So what that means for us would be, uh, first of all, I'm looking for a pullback towards 148.80. If it holds, we're looking for a further move to the upside. The concern would be right here at 150.65 if it doesn't go through. So it, ha it has held this level twice. If it holds it three times, then basically we're looking for a drop. So in that case, 
uh, we could also get something like this. Price goes up, retest the high, and then drops from there. Uh, that's a scenario we would have to keep in mind. For now, though, bias is bullish. Looking for a further move to the upside here. Watch out for a pullback. And then a further move higher, 150.65 is the first target. And then 152 is the second target. So bias here is bullish for pound yen. Euro yen here, this is um, also looking bullish, but not as strong. We see that prices has, hasn't been able to break through the previous high, which means we could see this one turn around here. So right now, neutral bias for this one. Uh, we could see a retest of the high, 129.90. If it fails, we're looking for a drop back down here. Uh, and then 128.20 will be the target. So in this case, bias is neutral. We'll see how price reacts at these two levels. And based on that, we will um, look at this on the daily. Dollar yen here, this is looking quite bullish here as well. Uh, but again, we are seeing some big, uh, big candles here, which can get, uh, which can get filled. So that would be the only thing to bear in mind. Prices into this support resistance level. We do need to be cautious a bit here, but bullish bias for now. And in terms of pullback, we could look at 108, and then a further move higher, or we may see. Uh, a bit more drop here towards uh, 107.80. So those two levels will be the ones to keep an eye on. And then a further move to the upside. So bias here is bullish for dollar yen as well. Aussie yen here, this one's also sideways at the moment. Um, and with the stock market dropping, the yen crosses did not drop uh, really, they just kind of went sideways. So this is one pin bar that hasn't quite played out just yet. Price hasn't broken through the high, so it's still in play, but it is, uh, but yen has not performed well relative to what's going on in the stock market. With the stock market dropping last year, last week, we didn't really see the corresponding drop here um, for the yen. It just went sideways. So right now, I'm looking for a retest of uh, last week's high, which is at 84, potentially a retest of the high of the pin bar here. And then we could see a drop. So we'll see what happens with the stimulus bill um, once it gets passed. And then uh, we may see that leading up to it, we may see that move up. And even when it gets passed, we may see the move up. But then there may be a bit of a, um, that scenario of selling after the news comes out. So that's, again, something to bear in mind here. So right now, uh, bias is neutral to bullish here. 84 is the first target and potentially 85, which is the top of this pin bar. And then we'll see how that uh, reacts. So neutral bias for neutral to bullish bias here for Aussie yen. New Zealand yen, as we can see, this one as well has been sideways the entire week. So looking at the weekly here, we are seeing a similar scenario. We had a pin bar here, but hasn't quite played out just yet. It's still in, in the pullback stages here. So same thing here. I will look for a retest of this week's high. If it fails, then we're looking for a drop. But we could see a retest of the high. I would keep that in mind. The, pin, the top of the pin bar here could get retested. And if it fails, then we're looking for a move lower here. First target would be 76.75 and then 75.65. So my bias is neutral to bullish here. It still has the bullishness in it. So it could go um, into these levels here. Uh, so bias here is bullish for New Zealand yen. CAD yen looking extremely bullish here. Let's take a quick peek at oil price. Um, so same thing here. So uh, Canadian dollar is directly impacted by oil price because Canada is a big oil exporting company, a uh, country, sorry. So similar scenario here, CAD yen. So if uh, oil goes up, Canadian dollar goes up. So this is looking quite bullish here and looking for a further move to the upside. In this case, the pullback level I'm looking at here is 85.50. It may come down a bit here towards this 85 level, but then looking for a further move higher. So 85.90, so 86 and then 86.20 are the two levels to, uh, to watch. Actually, no, that's two. 
this is our this is our weekly sorry that was our daily so bias still remains to the upside in terms of our pullback okay 85 um, is what I would look at and then a further move higher here something like this and first target 85.90 so uh, 86 and then 86.20 so those stay the same so bullish bias here for for CAD yen as well. All right, so moving on to commodities here, silver. Silver, uh, we saw a drop, but again, this one is also into some important support resistance levels here. This is where price had taken off from, and here we are again. So with this one, it has been moving in the same direction as what we have seen with the um, with our stock market. So it got sold off with the stock market. So when the stock market goes up, this is likely to go up as well. With this here, um, we could see a move higher towards 25.90. And if that holds uh, another leg lower. So right now we are seeing a bounce off of this 24.85 level, which could continue higher. So in this case, looking for a pullback, uh, like I said, towards 25.90 or 25.80 level. And then if it holds, continuation move to the downside. In this case, first target is 24.40. And then second target here is 24. So bearish bias for silver. Gold as well. This one has been dropping continuously here for the last little while. And uh, with the sell off in the stock market, this one has sold off as well. So looking for a continuation move again, watch out for a pullback towards the 1730, uh, 1728 or 1730 level here. And then we are likely to see a drop from there. So bias here is bearish and looking for a continuation towards 1668 level. So bearish bias. Oil looking quite strong. Um, here we are right into this, or very close to the resistance here. So watch out for that. This is where things could turn around. Last couple of times, this previous time, it didn't even get there. Um, but this time we are looking quite bullish here and we could continue through it. But it's always uh, important to be cautious at these important levels. So right now, bias is bullish. Um, and in terms of our pullback, I'd be looking at 64.75 and potentially even 64, 63.80 level here. These could be good pullback levels and then looking for a further move higher. 66.50 and then 68.50 so bullish bias for oil copper as well also bouncing back uh, nice drop and then uh, bounce back here so in terms of the daily we see um, all of these stock markets have exact same uh, thing going on here so we could see a further move higher so in this case we could even go uh, we may even see price go all the way into the highs uh, in terms of our targets here, first target is 4.11 and then second target is 4.185. So bias here is bullish for copper as well. Bitcoin here, Bitcoin currently, uh, where are we at? Okay, so 51,000, thanks Salvatore. Um, so Bitcoin is still in a range. As we can see, it has been stuck in this range for a couple of weeks here. So bounce off of this. And again, Bitcoin also moving with the stock market. So as the stock market goes up, we're likely to see a move towards 51,900 and then potentially even higher. Uh, and uh, towards 55,000. So important thing to keep in mind here would be to see a, um, a basically a move through 51, uh, 52,500. If the price is able to go through this, then we would be looking targeting these higher levels. But until then, this is still stuck in a range. So neutral uh, bias here for Bitcoin neutral to slightly bullish, basically, these are the levels I'm watching. 
All right, so let's take a look at the stock market here. We'll start off with S&P 500. Uh, we see price bounced up here. Um, and all of this from the basically comments in regards to the stimulus. So stimulus, anytime there is a stimulus announcement that is positive for stock market. So uh, we have seen this one here and now looking for a follow through to the upside. Uh, this is not a weekly though. Let's switch back here. So as we can see, price has bounced off of the support level. So right now it's neutral. I will look for a retest of the high here. Uh, first target is 38.65 and then 39.20. Now what can happen uh, would be price bounces all the way into the high. And then this is where the fade may happen. This is the only thing we have to be cautious about. But the, uh, the positivity or the positive sentiment in regards to the stimulus should push this up. Uh, but watch out for that, um, uh, that drop after. That would be the only caution here. So this one as well, uh, looking at NASDAQ, as we can see, price uh, bounced off of that level here on the positive uh, sentiment. So here price is into resistance. So just watch out for that. Uh, next target is 12,950. And then we're looking at 13,180. So uh, bull neutral bias here. Uh, we may see bullishness because of the sentiment. This one as well, this is Dow Jones um, looking positive here. A uh, big, huge move up and in terms of our weekly here, this is actually looking bullish here. So we could, we are likely to see a further move higher. But again, watch out for this resistance here, 31,750. But I'd be looking for a retest of this 32,100. So bias here is bullish for um, Dow Jones. DAX here, this has been stuck in a range for the last few days here. Um, and or last few weeks, I should say. So in this case, I will look for a retest of the high. And if it fails, we are back into the range here. So still looking range bound, expecting a range bound move. Once it goes through, though, then we are likely to see another move higher. So this is still in that positive um, uh, positive, uh, or I should say bullish flag here, but still the positive move it hasn't broken out though. So it's not quite ready but just something to keep in mind. FTSE here, FTSE also looking bullish here uh, for the day. Oh, sorry, for the week actually. Uh, for the day here, it, it did, well, actually it was Friday that pushed everything higher. So in this case, neutral to bullish bias here. Once it gets into the high at 67.85, this is where we may see problems here and something like this. So right now it's still in this neutral range here that it has been trading in the last little while here. So for now, uh, neutral to bullish bias target is 67.85. All right, Nikkei here. Nikkei also looking bullish here. Um, it again, the Friday move here pushed it higher. So in this case, this is what I would be looking for here and looking for a follow through from the Friday move. So in this case, the target here is 30,000 basically. So neutral bias, neutral to slightly bullish bias here, even though the candle shows bearishness in it, uh, the concern again would be the fate of that positive sentiment. All right, so that's it. We'll wrap it up here. Um, just, uh, just something uh, important to announce. We are going to be starting for the last few last couple of years, I should say, I have been doing the Turning Pro Challenge. And this time, exciting news, we'll actually be doing a funded trader challenge. So last challenge that we did, there were three prizes awarded for people who were the most consistent in the challenge. So we had um, $3,000, $1,500, and $500 prizes. This time, we are going to, um, I have uh, what should I say? I have uh, partnered with somebody um, and uh, they're going to, um, they're looking for traders basically who can trade full time, trade the fund. So we'll be, um, we'll be working towards that. So if you're interested in that, please keep an eye um, out for emails. I will be sending out emails starting this week um, and we'll be starting in a couple of weeks with that. So if you're interested, just keep an eye on that. All right, so that's it for today. You guys have a wonderful trading week. I will be back again for the daily analysis tomorrow. Bye for now.